Hi Saggies, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your next 48 reading. It's going to tell what's going on with you and your energy for the next 40 hours and what's going on with homeboy, homegirl for the next 40 hours as well. Okay, and what's their energy? If at any time this resonates with you or you simply just enjoy yourself here with me today, please like the video, comment a moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. Also, Keep in mind, this is a general reading. If you want a personal, all the information is down in the description box below. And if you want to follow my Instagram for this channel, that's also in the description box below. Also, if we're a little bit quiet, right? Do y'all hear that crackling in the background? What is that? What is that? Um, it's actually my candle, okay? So I am selling candles. I'm super excited. Oh. Okay, y'all fire energy is fired the fuck up. A whole little spark just, when I moved the candle, a whole spark just came out the candle. I'm scared, okay? But <laughs> let me present to you my candle. All right, so I'm making candles now. I've been making candles before I even started doing tarot readings, um, but I actually perfected a certain um, candle for you guys to sell because I'm super passionate about this. I love making candles, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. I want to share a little bit of my love with you guys, okay? So this one is called Lucid, Lucid Dreaming. Uh, ha, 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 you get it, right? All right, anyway, it's very tropical smell. It's like um, I have papaya scents in here. I have coconut. I have gardenia. I have um, mint, okay? So there's so many smells in here. It's a whole bunch of smells, but um, I'll just give you the basis. That's the basis of it, what you'll smell as soon as you get your candle. You'll smell it before the candle even opens because I load fragrances in here. I'm not playing around with these candles. Also, these are big candles um, compared to this candle. Very big, okay? Very, very big, very big. So this candle will last you forever, okay? It's double wicked with wood wicks. That's the crackling sound that you hear. I love that because it's like a little bit of sound therapy. It's not too loud to where it's going to get on your nerves and it's not too quiet where you won't hear it. It's just perfect. And if you ever want to meditate or you ever want to be in a quiet room and just unwind after a long, stressful day, that sound is amazing. I'm telling you guys, it is. Also, this is infused with aquamarine and lapis lazuli okay so those two stones together are so powerful i believe um i believe because i you know i put them together for a specific reason they're both soothing they're both calming um i think lapis lazuli helps with insomnia um aquamarine helps with depression so there's so many things that these um stones together it's like the ultimate dream <laughs> I don't know why I use that word, but it's real, okay? So not only does this candle smell so great, the properties in this candle is going to help soothe you, help you relax um, after a long day, and I feel like it really could help you guys, and it's a little piece of me coming into your home. So if you do want to order a candle, all that information will be down in the description box as well, okay? Without further ado, we're going to get started. No more candle talk, okay? No more candle talk. I'm super proud about this, guys, so I can't wait because I have gotten a couple orders, and I'm so excited. I don't know why, but I just can't wait to see your reviews and see how you feel about the candle because they smell amazing, okay? Amazing. I wouldn't lie to you, okay? All right, anyway, on to Saggy. Enough about my candles. Let's see what's going on with your energy for the next 48 hours, Saggy. What's Saggy's energy for the next 48 hours? What's Saggy's energy for the next 48 hours? This candle puts me in a super calm, soothing mood. So I'm sorry if I'm like getting like little, you know, drowsy or whatever. It's because of this candle, honestly. Okay. So let's see what's going on with my Saggy's for the next 48 hours. What's going on with my Saggy's for the next 48 hours with their energy? All right. Let's see. Saggy. Strength card. Okay, look at you being all strong and shit. Strong armed and shit. <laughs> Y'all seen that TikTok with that girl? And she's like, she's buff, okay? And she's like, <laughs> and people are attaching their TikToks to it and they're like getting dragged in. So you are strong arm ass bitch right now. <laughs> okay, strong arms. 
<laughs> Saggy, Will of Fortune. Hello, you and your energy, baby. All right, could be dealing with the Leo. Could be dealing with another Sagittarius, or this is just your energy. What else? What's the last card here for Saggy's energy? The Messenger. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Hello, Saggy. Okay, first of all, this was your energy the last reading. Or was it the last reading or was your singles read? I just did singles read for Saggy. If you're a single Saggy, go watch that um reading because it, it was it's recent, it's not old. Could be done with the torn. But this is your energy. You're the messenger. Okay, so are you sending someone a lot of messages? You're bombarding someone's phone, or you're just being the messenger, you're being that's your, um, Saggy, you know that you are the teacher of the Zodiac. Some people who are not Saggy's who are cross-watching right now, they're going to be like, no, no, Saggy is not the messenger. They're not the teacher. They can't teach me shit. Well, bitch, why are you watching? <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you a bitch. <laughs> Go watch your video, respectively. But, Saggy, you are the teacher, okay? No matter what anybody else says, you are the teacher, um... You teach people. That's your that's your um, calling in life is to teach because you research. You're the researcher. So if you research, no, you're not just keeping it within. You're also very talkative. You like to tell people about these things, teach people new methods, new ways. So I, I'm excited to see what that card is going to say for you, okay? But let's see what the strength card is. What's the, and also triggered is playing to open up your reading. So the strength card is like, you could have been triggered by something lately or something someone said. Someone could owe you an apology, Saggy, and they're like, oh, you know, now tell me you're sorry. Like, it's someone, <laughs> yo. And you was like, triggered. You was like, yo, do you want to end up on scandal? <laughs> Are you trying to keep your life? Which one is it, okay? All right, the strength card. Housekeeper? This just triggered me, Sag. Housekeeper? I feel like it's... <laughs> okay, first of all. The song I'm playing for you right now is Housekeeper. I know that's triggering most of my Saggies watching right now because I feel the energy. I feel static in my brain and in my heart. I feel like, uh... Who's a housekeeper, bitch? Who's the maid? You know, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta when it's like Jocelyn and Mimi and she was like, nice to see you in your maid outfit, maid. <laughs> like, bitch, nobody could tell you that, Sag. Who the fuck they, hold on. Who thinks that you're the housekeeper? Oh, hell no. So there could be someone triggering you around you that thinks that you're supposed to keep up their home. Keep, Or even if you live in a home with someone, say you're like in a relationship or say you're with a roommate. It's like this person expects you to do everything and it's like, no, that's not what a Sag is here for. A Sag is not here to be your maid. I am not Molly, okay? Nor the maid, okay? What's a strength card? This is fucked up. <laughs> yeah, luxury. You have to keep your strength from going off on this person because they came so they became so comfortable in your energy, Sag, that this person just expects you to do certain things for them that they can do for themselves. Housekeeper. This person thinks because they're offering you some kind of commitment that you're just supposed to slave behind them. Truce in reverse. Truce in reverse. Two of swords in reverse. Yeah, so it's like you know. There's no truce because you need to know that I'm not your housekeeper. <laughs> I don't know who this is for, but this is fucked up. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, guys. I just can't believe it. Like, housekeeper? Like, is that how we're starting the reading? Okay. All right. Four of Cups. What's the Four of Cups? This is the luxury card, too. So there's somebody who thinks, yeah, this brings a lot of problems because somebody is so comfortable with thinking that you're the housekeeper or that you're going to take care of them and do every little thing for them. This brings a lot of arguments. Five of Swords, right? I mean, sorry, Five of Wands. What's the Hierophant? Could be a Tauren. Trust. Okay, so this person trusts that this is why this person expects you to do things. Not only because you're good at it. <laughs> this is so fucked up. I'm so sorry, Sag. <laughs> this is so fucked up. Because I'm not trying to tell you that you're good at cleaning the house or being a maid or being a housekeeper. I'm telling you that you're good at holding things together. You're like the glue in a lot of situations. 
And this person trusts you too. They trust you with everything. This person can give you access to a lot of things in their life because they trust you. But then with those with that access, they expect you to be like their assistant or their housekeeper. It's like, no, bitch. Who the fuck? Bitch, I need a fucking assistant. I need a housekeeper. Like, what do I look like being your fucking... Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm so distracted right now because I still can't believe housekeeper. Like, what was... What is... First of all, what the hell is my playlist thinking? I don't even know this song. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Sag. What's truce in reverse? What's the two of... I'm sorry. What's the four of wands? I'm sorry. I can't even think right now. Y'all see that? I'm fucked up. What's the four of swords in reverse? What's the four of swords in reverse? What's the four of swords in reverse for Saggy? Abundance. So this person feels very abundant with you. If Saggy doesn't do it, I don't want it. So this person is very spoiled and stuck up. So that's another thing too, letting go too. Okay, this is someone, this could be your ex, Saggy. This could be the person you're dealing with right now. But it's like, if you don't do it, Sag, you're not satisfied. So they love the way you do, do things. So that can be a housekeeper aspect as well. Say you cook this person some Alfredo, right? And Alfredo to you, Sag, you're like, it's just Alfredo. It's just fucking Alfredo. But this person, they won't even make the Alfredo themselves anymore because they had it from you. It was so fucking good. They're like, oh my God, Saggy makes the best Alfredo. So now this person won't cook Alfredo. And even if their mom is like, hey baby, you want some Alfredo? This person's like, no, I only eat Saggy's Alfredo. <laughs> Like, this person's telling their mom off about you. Like, I only eat Saggy's Alfredo, and if Saggy's not making it, I don't want it. And so this person expects a lot out of you because a lot of the things that you presented to this person, you done so luxurious. Okay, the luxury card is here. You done it so luxurious. You did it so nicely, Sag. This person is, like, obsessed with you and the way you do things. So housekeeper, I don't feel like this person feels like you're the housekeeper. I feel like there's a lot of people in your life, friends, family, lovers, who that you offered the best to and now they won't settle for less okay they're like if Saggy ain't doing it I ain't happy and if you're not doing it Sag because you are busy you have your own life to fucking cater to it's like these people are demanding it like where's Saggy where's Saggy it's like a toddler like no baby no so letting go in abundance it's like this person knows they need to let go do shit for themselves but they're like sitting like a king on their pedestal, abundance card. They don't want to settle for less, okay? I think it's stressing you out too, strength card. It's like you do it for this person because you care and this person also offers you some kind of transaction, their love, their affection. They treat you good. But it's like, okay, I'm getting tired of doing this shit for you. Go cook your own fucking Alfredo, okay? <laughs> oh, hell no. This person got you and me fucked up, Sag. Okay, what's the will of fortune? when I see you too. So it's like, you have to hide from this person. You have to hide or make excuses not to go see this person because you know when they see them, it's like they're going to demand so many things that you've done for them in the past. But you're like, that's a once in a, in a while kind of thing, honey. And you're making it once in a lifetime time of thing, the way you're demanding, okay? Oh my God. Jesus, sad. See, that's why. Go watch your singles read. Go watch your singles read. Do not give too much in a relationship before you are sure about this motherfucker. Because if you give too much, people are going to expect that all the fucking time. Okay? What's the will of fortune? I feel you, I feel your pain, shorty. I feel your pain, shorty. All right, what's the will of fortune for Saggy? But things are going to be looking up for you. Don't worry. So what's the will of fortune? Will of fortune. Hello, will of fortune came out again. Sag, things are going to be looking up for you. I feel like the, the roles are going to flip. The roles are going to flip, right? So you are now going to be the one demanding shit. So you're like, okay, you want that nice Alfredo with the bacon, with the, the sprinkled bacon and a little bit of parsley and I use Gouda cheese. You want that Alfredo, bitch? Guess what, bitch? I want this. I want that. I want that. You know, so you're now requiring the same shit back. I feel like you think, and you're going to get it. Also, if you deprive this person of your good Alfredo, and Alfredo is a metaphor, guys. But if you deprive this person of your good Alfredo, say this is someone who expects you to do shit for them and you pulled your energy back. If you deprive them of this, it's like they're like a crackhead. They're like, I'll do anything for that Alfredo. <laughs> This person is like, I will give you anything. I'll give you my ass. 
I'll give you my friend's ass, okay? I need that Alfredo. So now this person is trying to make up to give get what they want. So they are going to be giving you a lot of shit. Will of Fortune, you're going to be, good luck is coming to you. Someone's going to be kissing your ass to get what they want from you. Yeah, Dominion. <laughs> so the roles are reversed now. So now you're owning this person's ass. <laughs> the dancer? Ooh, shit. Sad, you're like, you're like, you have your dollars in your hand and you're just like, now take that off, strip for me. And this person's like, okay. <laughs> this person's like, I'll strip for you, whatever, to get that Alfredo. <laughs> Good, they need to do that because they thought you was the housekeeper. Fuck out of here. Who you thought, who they thought they was talking to? All right, what's the, what's the Dominion card? What's the two of wands, please? Whatever you want. What did I just say? Whatever you want by Tony Tony Tone is playing right now, okay? So it's like, whatever you want, girl or boy, you know I can provide. So this person is willing to give you anything to get that love back from you, to get that Alfredo, okay? Yeah, completion in reverse. So this person, you were about to cut this person off, but then you seen how desperate they were to get what they wanted. You said, come on, baby, bring that shit here. Bring it here. Creativity, this person's being very creative in the way that they're going to give this thing to you, okay? They're, they're willing to do anything. Postponement even. So like I said, you were going to let this go. But it's it's funny that you know how like... um. Say I have a, like a special shop of Alfredo, since Alfredo is a topic of, of dis discussion. Say I have this special pasta shop and Alfredo is like the specialty and I'm going to close. But there's my customers keep emailing me and saying, please don't close. We love your Alfredo. Please, please, please. Can you still sell your Alfredo to us even if you close the shop? And I'm like, hmm. I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me postpone closing the shop. Let me keep it open to see how much money I make, right? That's you, Sag. It's like, I was going to close the door on this motherfucker, but I want to see how bad they're going to beg for it. <laughs> okay, so now it's the Page of Pentacles. This person has their eye on the prize, or you have your eye on the prize. You're like, okay, let me see what I can get. Strength card again, courage. So you're you're being... You're holding back, even though you know this could be the detriment, okay? This could this could backfire on you, Sag, but you're like, I'm willing to see. That's such a Sag move. I don't know. I know that this could backfire, but I'm still going to go see what, what it's like, right? It's like a hit or miss, and you're like, hmm, I don't care if it's a miss. I'm still going to see if I can hit, right? <laughs> yeah, Hierophant is here. This could definitely be a torn, but it's like this person's really committed to getting this shit from you. You want to see how far you committed. Show me, baby. Show me. Like the dancer. How much How much of my money are you going to make me spend? Come on. Take that clothes. Take them clothes off, baby. Take How how bad do you want to entertain me for this money? How, how bad do you want it? All right, Sash. I heard you. All right, messengers here. Let's move forward. Could be a Taurus, like I said, you could be dealing with. But what's the messenger here? Ooh. All right. You have the page of cups. Success and a rock star. Okay, so you're on top of the world right now, Sag. I don't know how this turned for you so quickly. You have the Page of Cups. Okay, there could be someone sending you a message saying, I'm sorry. Or this could even be you. You reach out to somebody. As soon as you do that, you're successful. Or if this person reaches out to you, you feel very successful. Either way it goes. This person reaches out to you, Sag, to apologize. You feel like, yeah, I got it in the bag. Or you reach out to this person to apologize, but it turns up in your favor. You're the one who's successful. You feel like a rock star, Knight of Wands. All right? So you feel on top of the moon. Nothing can bring you down. Nothing can kill your high. All right? So let's see what's going on here. What's the Princess of Cups or the Page of Cups? La, 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 la. You know the end of that song, whatever you want. It's like, la, 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 la. That's you, Sag. That's you, like... like that's you singing while you walk. You're like, la, 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 la. Because <laughs> you feel so successful. So you're happy singing. You could have been happy singing a lot lately because you feel successful. You know you got it in the bag. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is crazy, Sag. This whole reading is crazy. I knew I should not have done y'all tonight, but I couldn't help myself. <sighs> Let me breathe because this is stupid. <laughs> 
<laughs> What's the page of cups, please? Please, spirit, please. All right. Working on yourself, eight of pentacles, success, success. Six of wands came out again, success, success, success. You're on top of the moon. You're getting your accolades. This person's kissing your ass. It's cool. You feel like, okay, I can work on things. If, if you kiss my ass, yeah, I can work on things. This could be an ex trying to come back. They need you so bad, Sag. This person cannot survive without you. And you're like, yeah, I'll come back. Keep keep kissing my ass, though. It tastes... it. Oh, <laughs> I'm so dirty. I was going to say, for your person, it tastes good, don't it? Which is so fucked up. But you're saying, yeah, kiss it right here. It feels good right here. Kiss it. <laughs> This is your energy, Sad. You got me feeling real raunchy right now. And I'm not with that shit. I'm trying to be a changed woman. Okay? <laughs> and y'all got me over here talking real crazy. Oh, God. I feel bad for my mom every time. She's she's such a supporter. She's like, I'll, I'll watch. I'll watch, you know, your videos. I'm like, please don't, lady. Because you're going to be... You might have a heart attack. Okay? The way I'm talking. What's the sit? Okay, you have the. Okay, let's just clarify the rock star. What's the rock star for Sagi's energy? We're already at twenty minutes on your energy, Sag, because your energy is so crazy right now. The miser. Yeah, you got this one in a bag. The miser. It's like you've been winning with this person. They thought they're gonna have one up on you. It backfired. You've been winning. You can never lose. You're like the people at the Super Bowl. It's like, yeah, who is that? The Patriots? Is it the Patriots or is it the um, Seahawks? Who 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 does Tom Brady play play for? It's like yeah, we win every year, and you know I don't know why you were expecting different. It's that kind of energy, okay? Let's clean this up quickly and see what's going on with your homeboy homegirl, because I feel like they. I'm scared to see what energy they're in, because if you're in this energy, because you're very in much in your ego right now, Sag. I'm really scared to see what your person is in, okay? So let's just go for it. Oh. <laughs> there's some readings where I feel like, yeah, that was good. Thank you. You know, God, thank you. But there's some readings where I'm like, I'm hiding from God. I'm like, <laughs> in this reading, I, I ain't doing that. Okay. So anyway, y'all don't care. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see who's, what's going on with, um, Saggy's homeboy, homegirl, please. What's going on? What's going on with Saggy's homeboy, homegirl? What's going on with Saggy's homeboy, homegirl? What's their energy for the next 48 hours, please? What's going on with Saggy's homeboy, homegirl for the next 48 hours? Give me some cards, please. Justice card, Libra energy. Okay, what else? Three of Wands, Aries energy. Okay, we have the Two of Cups, Cancerian energy. Oh, Okay, so this person, I feel like, is really trying to move forward with you, trying to right their wrongs, justice card. They're trying to come back in and make things right, okay? Two of Cups as well. So it's like this person feels a deep connection to you. Of course they do. They love that Alfredo. What you been putting in that for Alfredo also, Sag? What you been putting in that Alfredo that this person been eating? Because it seems like they're infatuated, okay? So I'm trying to figure it out, all right? Let me know your recipes down below. Cause I feel like some of my Saggies actually make some bomb ass Alfredo. What do you put in there? All right, so let's see. What's the Justice card? What's the Justice card for the Libra you're dealing with? What's the Justice card for Saggies person? The Hacker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Eight of Wands. This person feels so addicted to your love, Saggy. And the thing is, they feel like you are putting something in their Alfredo. The Hacker. Think about the Hacker. It's a cheater. They're like, what has Saggy done to me? If you're spiritual and your person's not really that spiritual, but they know you are, this person feels like you put them under a spell or you did you you put some voodoo on them, okay? And I don't feel like you did. I feel like it's just your middle thing. I feel like your middle thing is voodoo. <laughs> I feel like it's just that, you know? It's nothing else, sir or or ma'am, miss, miss or mister. I'm sorry. It's not. It's no spell, honey. It's just that poo. It's that poo or that D. Okay, sorry. What's the um what's the Knight of Swords, please? What's the hacker? Yep, they feel like you're wearing a mask. This person feels like you've been sneaky. What have you been doing? What have you been doing? This person feels like, hmm, Sag 
has done something sneaky to my Alfredo. That's why I'm so stuck on this person. And that's why I feel like I wouldn't apologize. You could have even did wrong to this person, Sag. They're going to end up apologizing. They're going to make things right. Even if you did something wrong. Because this person is so addicted to you. What's the swiftness? Eight of Wands. What's the Eight of Wands? Guilt. Didn't I just say that? Didn't I just say that? This person is coming towards you very fast because they feel guilty. Even if they didn't do anything wrong, Sag. So you're so evil, Sag. Oh my God, I see you snickering at the at the um, at your screen right now, like <laughs> like you little witch. Okay, like I feel like your person. You guys could both be in a wrong, but you're not apologizing for shit, and your person's gonna take all the blame. Okay. Oh God. Oh, this is not what I signed up for tarot for. <laughs> yeah. All right, what's the three of wands? So this person is worried too that y'all not gonna be able to move forward. They really want to move forward with you. This could be an Aries. Who is this three of wands first? What's this three? Peace. They just want peace, okay? This person is willing. They want peace so bad they're willing to sacrifice their own feelings to make peace, Sag. But you could be telling me, like, okay, I don't care because this person has sacrificed my feelings a lot in the past. That could be true. That could be very true. But right now, what we're talking about right now in this moment, there's things this person wants to get off their chest, but they're going to keep quiet because they want to keep the peace between you guys. Also, the universe card is here. So they just like, Saggy, listen, I know we're destructive for each other. You see all that fire? But take my hand. We're just going to burn up together. <laughs> I heard some of you said to say, no, the fuck we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. We're going to think this through. We're going to think this through, okay? But I feel like this person feels like, okay, I know Saggy should apologize. I'm apologizing. I know Saggy should apologize, but I don't care. Let's just move forward. So this person just wants to move forward. They don't care. Let's close all these bad cycles. Let's just move forward. Let's start fresh, okay? This person going to be telling you that. What's the two of um, swords? Change. Like I just said, Wheel of Fortune. They want to change. They want change from you. So they're willing to keep the peace as long as you're willing to change. Or as long as, the, you, you know, I feel like this person is willing to change too. But they're looking for an apology from you. But you're not going to give it. I see that right now. And they're like, okay, I don't care if you don't apologize, Sag. I'm apologizing. But are you willing to change with me? Okay. What's the universe card? What's the world card? Exhaustion. Yeah, this person is exhausted fighting, going back and forth. So they're like, let's just... I'll keep the peace or I'll apologize just so that we can be on the same page so that we're not fighting anymore. I don't want to fight anymore with you. Also, you have the two of cups here. It could be a Cancerian, but it's like your person just wants to keep the peace because your connection is worth so much more than that. You and this person could hold each other all day and it's fine. You know, you feel good about this. You feel... Sorry, your person feels good. Like they could hold you all day, Sag, and they'll be so happy. This person really feels intertwined with you they feel very divinely connected to you okay what's the two of cups for saji's homeboy homegirl the dancer <laughs> i'm laughing because this card came back out okay so like i said your person is willing to entertain you to make you happy they they are <laughs> Hold on. One more card, please. Game master as well. Okay, so this person feels like they, they know what they're doing. If you feel like you this person gave in so easily, or if you feel like this person forgave you so easily, it wasn't no fight, and you feel weird about it, Sad, you're like, why didn't this person put up a fight today? Why are they acting so like it's all good? When you know it's not good, right? You know you, you done lit a whole fire, Sad, and your person's like, it's okay, baby. I baked you cookies. Come sit down. And you're like, you're now you're getting scared. Like, what did you put in my fucking Alfredo? <laughs> but I feel like this person is just like, I'd rather not fight with Sag. And they know you're fiery, Sag. They're like the game master. I'm going to play this game. And, you know, I feel like your person is using reverse psychology on you too, thinking they're going to win. So Sag, you might have thought that you're winning. But I feel like your person feels like they're winning by not fighting with you, by just keeping the peace. They're going to... So, ooh, ooh, think about a stripper or an entertainer, adult entertainer. You, like, the customer thinks they're winning. They're like, yeah, bitch, dance for me, right? But the dancer is like, bitch, I'm winning. I just took your paycheck, right? So it's like, you think you're winning, Sad? Your person's like, no, I'm going to get what I want. You're going to make me some Alfredo. 
at the end of this week. <laughs> All right, sorry. What's the Prince of Wands? I mean, sorry. What's the Princess of Wands? Page of Wands, please, for your person. <laughs> Yeah, suppression. So your person does not like laying their swords down, but they're willing to do it just to have Sag be quiet, just to get Sag in their reign. And then when you're the most vulnerable, they're going to attack. <laughs> what's the... Oh my God, you and your person are fucked up. I don't know what's going on. What's the Knight of Swords? Mind. Yeah, this person's trying to get in your mind. Seven of Cups as well. It's like this person wants you to get comfortable. Look at these two faces. Say this is your person. Doesn't have to be a masculine, right? But say this is your person. They look so sweet and innocent. Whatever you want, Sag. And you're like, yeah, it better be whatever I want. But then once you get comfortable, you get into this energy. You're like, wow, babe, I'm so happy that you finally are on my page. And then once you're so vulnerable, this person's like, I'm really not. Go make that Alfredo. <laughs> So this person's trying to fuck with your mind, Sag, okay? <laughs> I'm done with this reading, actually. I can't do this no more. I I can't. It's actually bedtime. It's, okay, it's really not bedtime. I'm making a lie. But it is... It's, I'm done, Sag. I'm sorry. Um, first of all, <laughs> you and your person are very crafty. Y'all are more alike than apart. Do you understand that? Um, your person is going to let you think that you're living La Vida Loca. But once you get comfortable, they're going to make sure that they get what they want out of it. So they're laying their swords down. But as soon as you are turning, have your back turned, they're going to pounce on you. And I mean that physically and emotionally and mentally. Okay? <laughs> I'm done here, Sag. I'm done with y'all motherfuckers. Oh, God. All right. Anyway, this was something. I knew I shouldn't have done y'all tonight. I really did. But it is what it is. If this resonated, if you just simply enjoyed yourself here with me today, please thumbs up the read. <laughs> Comment the moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. If you want a personal, all the information is down in the description box below. If you want to follow my Instagram, that's also in the description box below. And if you want a candle, all right, if you want a candle, that's also in the description box down below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys very soon in your next 48. All right, bye-bye.